What's going on, you guys? Gaming Addict here. <clears throat> so, you know, this morning they had that Nintendo Direct thing. And I work night shifts. A lot of you might know that that's been following my channel. And I was like, yo, I got Planet Xbox tonight. I'm kind of tired as it is, so I need to go to bed now. And I'll just catch, I'll catch that pr uh, presentation after I wake up. So I wake up and I forgot about it for a couple minutes. Then I see and I get real excited. I'm like, I'm about to see some lit shit for, with Pokemon. And I watch it. And I ain't going to lie to you guys. I went from, I like being a Switch owner to fuck the Switch. Like, I don't understand what Nintendo was thinking over there. I, like, they did the same shit during the, during the Wii U era. I get... Now, well, first off, let's explain what the fuck was at this this presentation, okay? At this presentation, there was Pokemon Tournament, okay? So the Pokemon Tournament looked fun. It looked it looked good. I won't mind playing Pokemon Tournament. I missed it for the Wii U. Then, after the Pokemon Tournament presentation, they show, I think it's Pokemon Moon Ultima Ultra and Pokemon Sun Ultra. And they don't really show that this is the 3DS title because it's really fast. So you think that this is a Switch title and they're bringing over, you know, the the ultimate, you know, they're bringing over Moon, Enhanced Moon and, and Sun Editions to the Switch. So I was already getting hyped. And then they they brought, they, they, they destroyed my hope, you guys. It was a 3DS game. Look, I understand that the 3DS is an established market. You know, they don't want they they want to appeal to that market because they've been their loyal fans for a while. All I'm saying is Nintendo for the past like two generations keep neglecting their main console over their handheld. They keep neglecting their establishing brand. You know, the 3DS is a very established brand and they neglect their 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 console game which you know is the switch right now last generation it was the wii u you know how many times the wii u got a game that i felt like it would have pushed the i mean you know how many times last year that the 3ds got a game that i personally felt like it would have pushed the the x uh not the xbox i don't know why i was thinking that but it i felt like it would push the the wii u more and they do this over and over again and now they're doing it again the switch I thought maybe they would take the the Switch's you know library more seriously, like Nintendo. If you do not stop this dumb shit, like I get that this this console brings you money, so you try to accommodate to these fans. But at the same time, like why can't they just come both come out for both? Like why does the the 3DS always get the shit that everyone wants, and your consoles just chill there? Like maybe next year. And you know what you just did with this Pokemon Direct? You made me think that I shouldn't be that excited for your Direct at E3 because clearly they ain't... Sh if they aren't letting me get the hype on for a Pokemon game. And that's not the worst part, you guys. They, they did, uh, you know, uh, the old gold and silver from like the 97 or 96. They showed that. You know, they did red and blue last year. They're doing gold and silver. And that particular title holds a lot to me because I think that's the one I played the most. And I'm like, yes, like, okay, you guys get the new Pokemon, you know, Ultra, uh, the new Pokemon Moon and, and go, Silver, uh, not Moon and uh, Sun. I'll take this, this, this Pokemon Gold and Silver and I'll be happy with it. And then it comes up on 3DS only. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Like, you just put your all of your Switch owners that just bought this off blind faith for one game, pretty much, is just sitting there looking at this conference is like, why did I even purchase this? But anyway, you guys, it's just my mini rant. I feel like Nintendo always has one foot in the door. It's like the opposite for uh, for Sony. Sony always has one foot in the door when it comes to their handhelds and one foot in uh, out the door when it comes to their handhelds. You know, they're always half in, half out, but they're not like that with their consoles. They're always, you know, I'm, I'm financially, I'm going to invest as much as I can and I'm going to invest as much IP as I can into, into, you know, the PS4. But it's like Nintendo's the exact opposite. It's they're like, we're going to have one foot in the door when it comes to the Switch, to their console market. And, you know, if it sells, it sells. And I'm like, 
you better hope Mario Odyssey is lit because the shit you just pulled today pisses me off as a Nintendo owner, a Nintendo Switch owner. But anyway, let's see what happens at E3. I gave them this long. I might as well see what that shit they're going out to the direct. Maybe they'll surprise me. I don't have a whole lot of faith for them now, you know, but we'll see. So anyway, you guys, make sure you like the video if, if you enjoy the content. Subscribe for, you know, for, I wouldn't say daily content. I think that's a little bit of reach. But subscribe, definitely see more more of me on uh, on YouTube. It's Gaming out of here. I'm out of here.